Gritty Urban Saga. So there's been a Q&A session about Spinal. Uh, Spinal is the new character for Killer Instinct. Uh, he's a new DLC character. He's, he's not a new character by any means. He, he's definitely from previous iterations of the Killer Instinct franchise, uh, but he is new to this version, the Xbox One version of the game. Um, now, this Q&A session was held with Dave Verfelli. Verfeil? Um, he is the design director of the game, and also it was held with Mike Willett. I'm probably mispronouncing both of those names, so don't quote me, but um, he is the lead producer on the game. Um, and I found that this video is about 18 minutes long, the, the video I'm talking about here, um, the Q&A session, so I thought maybe people wouldn't have that much time to sit down and, and really watch the whole video and see the, the changes or, that they've made to the character overall. Um, so I thought I'd just make a quick access guide here and run down the changes and, and the things for you to show you what this character is about so far. So starting out, they said that he is a mixed-up character that is very dependent upon his skulls, building up skulls. Um, he depends upon his run to really um, stay away from people and build up resources while he's out of skulls. Um, and that run is very helpful because his walk speed is very slow. I'm talking like nearly Makoto, uh, uh, just, I mean, uh, the character from Street Fighter. Um, just a very slow walk speed, so that, that hinders him. So the run was put in to, to help him, is basically what they said. Um, he also is the first character with his own unique resources, which are the skulls I was talking about. I'll talk about those later and how those are used. It's, it's crazy. Um, the way he builds up those skulls, one of the ways, is called Power Devour. It's a move where he holds up his shield, and he can, he can absorb any special move in the game. So if you throw a fireball at him, you do a wind kick, he, he can absorb it, and he converts that absorbed move into a skull. So he stacks a skull. Um, now, what a, one of the craziest things that I heard during this uh, the Q&A is that these skulls, he can uh, convert them into fireballs, and he has a low-hitting fireball. Okay, he throws a fireball that can actually hit low. And he also has an overhead fireball. He throws it up in the air, and it comes down on your head. Um, so he can create his own mix-ups there, um, just depending on how many fireballs he has at any given time. On top of that, his straight fireball, the one he shoots straight, um, that is plus on block if he's close to you. So if you try to use your fighting game instincts from other games where, hey, this person hit me with a, uh, I blocked a fireball and I was close, I can punish him now. Um, no, no, he's, <laughs> he's plus on block, so he's more than safe, um, which is crazy. Um, he can cancel his teleport ending animation. So normally um, teleports are punishable if you can, you can kind of predict them or see them coming. His teleport, if he has a skull stacked, he can cancel the ending animation and straight into a super, uh, special move. Um, so, I mean, that also makes him just ridiculous um, because he can not only have that mobility and mix up, but he can also punish you from a teleport instead of being punished uh, if, you call, if you catch it. Um, so that's just also something very good uh, for his particular character. He has a move called the Searing Sword, which has upper body invulnerability. So if you try to hit him high when he's doing this move, guess what? You're getting hit. Um, and the Shoulder Charge is a very good option. It's, it's like Glacius' uh, Shoulder Charge, so just covers some space for him. Um, he has a Dive Kick, okay? Now, if all that wasn't enough, he also has a Dive Kick, but they, did, they said and I quote, they didn't want him to be Rufus Spinal, um, which, uh, so they didn't want him to depend on just dive kicking over and over and over again and for that to be a, a, a somewhat overpowered move, so it is very negative on block, very easy to punish if you if you catch him uh, in the middle of the dive kick, so if you block it, you can, you can definitely get him. Um, but once again, he has a very uh, slow walk speed, um, the dive kick and the run are really supposed to offset that. Um, the Shadow Teleport. Now, you know, in Killer Instinct there are shadow versions of uh, most specials. So you can, uh, you can basically do a powered up version uh, of uh, any special. Now his Shadow Teleport, it, it cannot be thrown. You can't throw him out of it. It also hits you. Um, so that's crazy. After he comes out of the ground, he actually can hit you um, with the teleport and, and just go into other things. Um, his shield bash is projectile invulnerable if you have a skull. So if you have one single skull, you can go through projectiles and start a combo if you're close enough. Um, so that's also something great. Now this is where, I mean, his character shows how it's a lot different than others besides the, uh, the stacking skulls. Now, every fireball causes a curse. Um, and these curses, they drain shadow meter from his opponent. 
So if, if you get hit with one of these, and uh, it'll drain your shadow meter and give it to Spinal. Um, also, you can stack this up to five times. So if you hit someone with five fireballs, you're draining a ridiculous amount of their shadow meter and, and just adding it to yours. Um, so that's one really cool thing. Um, he also has a shadow searing skull, which drains their instinct. Okay, so if you do a shadow version of the searing skull, the, the fireball move the, with the skull that goes across the screen, um, it can stack three times. It drains your instinct, so the person cannot go into instinct mode while this is active at all. It'll your instinct meter will never fill up if uh, if you're the spinal's opponent. You'll if you're hit with one of these now. That also carries between rounds, so you don't lose your curse between rounds. It's that you stay cursed if you're a Spinal's opponent. Um, now, so this adds something to his gameplay where he can um, forego damage to choose um, to curse you, which which basically still makes you ahead in the battle because the person can't build resources the same. Um, so it adds variety and it adds choice to his gameplay. You can choose to just get damage or you can choose to curse the other person and leave them at a disadvantage that way. Um, so another way besides just taking their life. Um, he has an easy manual called a spectral double. Um, or or spe easy, I guess it's an easy double, but um, it throws the timing off during his combos. So um, some people become accustomed to your, your combos. You can throw in this easy, um, the, the spectral double which um, it throws out the timing a lot, it gets you more damage, but also one of the disadvantages to it is you have to do it with the same strength button that you were just uh, pressing for the auto double. So um, that's one of the things with Killer Instinct, if you, if you find out or if you can predict what strength button the person is pushing, you can break that combo if you press it at the right time. So um, it's risky, the person might catch you, but also you can bait out uh, uh, combo breakers and just uh, counter break people so um, another another part of the depth of his gameplay is that you're gonna be able to set people up or, or throw people off as far as the timing goes um, now his instinct mode <laughs> this gives him full skulls it gives him all the skulls he can hold and the skulls regenerate every two seconds so you get a new skull every two seconds so you can just curse somebody throw a fireball curse somebody you already have a new fireball two seconds have passed and it lasts for 15 whole seconds just like everyone else's uh, instinct mode so he is just uh, crazy characters um, but one of the things that I found that they uh, a way that they balanced him uh, with all these curses and things is that um, the curses only last until spinal gets hit um, so that's a very good thing I think that they, uh, they made a good call by not making it so they just last forever or last the whole round um, and so if you hit spinal the curse is lifted um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of get on here and, and give people the, uh, a rundown of the full, you know, <laughs> almost 18 minute video and give you guys, a, um, you know, just kind of my uh, kind of thoughts on, on these things as well because I just think that he is probably one of the best characters in the game at this point based on everything that they um, showed in this Q&A session. So um, yeah, if you haven't already, uh, please, you know, give me a subscribe here. Uh, I'll definitely give you guys the video game news as it comes out. I'll give you the news of things that I'm interested in here. Um, leave my leave your comments in the comment section, and let me know what you guys think about Spinal. Gertie Urban Saga.